the uh, Mongolian god called T uh, Tengre. This is the kind of their uh, their runic script that you know is the name of their of this um, this god, the god of you know he's the god of god of the sky or heaven. Um, it is also the same as. Uh, Tunar, or that's also Thor, in uh, in the Norse pantheon. This is also the same um, position as Zeus as well. This would be the same god as Zeus, the same uh, demigod as Zeus. In the um, in the mythology, he is um, he's the, he's the god who holds up the heavens and holds up the sky. He carries a hammer, um, just as with. Uh, Jupiter and Thor and, and Tinre or Tuner, they all carry the hammer, you know, which is very, um, very obvious that that deals with the same origins and the same, um, original mythology, the same original, um, group of people that once worshiped these, um, these demigods. Uh, originally lived in one place obviously um, the Bible um, the biblical story tells us this um, the whole story is actually related to us in the Bible um, so when uh, Adam Adam bore his son Khan which this would be the proper original pronunciation um, in my eyes would be would be Khan because those were the first people to go to the east. So Khan went eastward toward um, toward Central Asia and toward that the Himalayas, toward that region where the um, the modern Khan people, the original people of the Khan lineage lived um, in that same exact region. And they worshiped the, they worshiped uh, Tinger. Who uh, Tingre or Tenre, and which also became Zeus and Thor. So I believe this is the older. This is more of the original version of the of the of the legends and stories. Um, Tengre is also likened to a a, 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 a a swan, something like a white swan, um, which you also find in Greek in Greek legend as well with with um, story mythologies like Leda and the Swan, where Zeus comes in the form of a swan. So you find that the mythologies carry over through uh, Greek culture, all throughout Greek culture. So obviously, um, we're dealing with one, you know, original culture that where all the people dispersed from that kind of carry these these concepts and ideas. Um, and that would obviously be the biblical culture of uh, you know of, of Eden, you know, back w of when people were all we were all the same, and there were no. Um, demigods in this in this sort of thing so the culture uh, developed from there and went eastward to uh, sort of establish these uh, the Khan um, Empire the first um, probably ever concept of um, demigods and things like that that uh, came from within this original you know biblical culture within the, the biblical storyline and Cain has his son um, Enoch or Huang and there's a city eastward there's a city in in the in the Himalayan region um, in uh, Pakistan and in China called Huang which is a, a very ancient city where um, sort of up in the in the mountains and and um, this may be the original story of the city that um, Cain built for his son. It would be very likely that this is the, the location of where they first settled. And, um, and then the mythology sort of kind of developed from there. And the hierarchies of um, Pantheon formed from that point. Um, Enoch. And then you have uh, Erod. Kuyael, Methusael, 
Methusa L and then Lemek. And Lemek is the same exact personage personage of Tuner, Thor, and and uh, and Tungre. So Lemek would be the um, deity that would the, the demigod that would be likened to Zeus in the in the pantheon. Um, in the Greek in Greek mythology, it's actually um, you have Chaos, you have Erebus, Chaos, Erebus, and this is going back to the the origins of um, humanity within the Greek mythology. So it all lines up with the biblical story, um, kind of. Uh, um, from their perspective, from their from that perspective of seeing um, Zeus and Tunor as the sky god and the and the main deity, and you have Ether, which is actually very similar to Arad. If you just actually switch the letters, it's Ad Ar and Arad. So Ether, and then you have Uranus. Kronos and Zeus, and in the um, in the Tengeris culture, um, here you have uh, Lemek. Lemek has uh, his son Tu Bukan. Tu Bukan. Zeus has a son named. Vulcan, and they all do the same thing. They're all artificers, smiths, and metal workers. The, each each one in the in the pantheon, and Tingre. Tinger has a son, by Bul Bilgan, Bilgan. So you have Tubalcan, Vulcan, and Bilgan. All of these names are identical, and their position in the pantheon is identical. They're um, they're all artificers and metallurgists, and each one carry and each each one carries carries the hammer or the mace or the scepter. So we're dealing with the same exact or original story, of course, originating in the Bible. The Bible is the true story and the original story, and then each of each culture um, developed out from there, carrying these. Um, these stories and legends and um, and beliefs with them, so we can show that um, you know Tinger, Zeus, Thor, you know, is actually in the Bible. This is Lemech in the Bible in the biblical story. This would be Methusael, would be Kronos, and Ode, Ode Han, I believe it is one of is the Ode is the father of time. Kronos is the father of time. Um, Odin as well seems to carry some of these very similar attributes so you can see the story carrying over um, throughout the mythologies throughout the world there are also there are many other um, pantheons just like this um, in almost every culture in the world with varying names and and, and, and and mythologies around it but you have a very similar core pantheon to start with in every single culture about these um, these demigods who sort of, sort of founded civilization and culture at one time in the past, so it has to it has to go back to the origins of all of humanity, since the stories are sim so similar throughout the entire world. Um, this original core story has to be the the biblical the biblical story, you know, involving Adam and Eve and Khan and and so on. <clears throat> um, these are also, um, you have Uranus and his wife, you know, Gia, or you know, Gaia, and that would also be the father, the Anu Na Ki, which is those of heaven and those of earth coming together, forming the Anunnaki, which would be the sons of Uranus and Gaia. The children of Uranus and Gia, so that ties into the Sumerian 
stories as well. So all of these go together hand in hand when you start to compare the stories and the mythologies. And uh, of course the Bible is the original um, storyline that um, founded all of it. <laughs>